All right, now I'm gonna work on a pair of adjustable slip joints here. This one's not really bad shape, just needs a good thorough cleaning. Uh, this here is a Utica. This is actually an old pair. It's being a Utica brand. It's 507-10. Uh, it's 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 an older it's a couple decades well a couple it's probably four or five decades old this is channel lock i think 420s 430s 420s and it's bent i don't know if you guys can see the bend there see yeah see kind of kind of twisted and i think it's this one's bent right here so Gonna fix that problem. First, I gotta find a way to get that nut off. This one I'm not gonna take apart, but this one I'm gonna take apart. Run them over the wire wheel. I'll probably blue this one a little bit. And I don't know, I might. Got some. I might put some rubber handles on this one. Some of this uh uh, duh, heat shrink tubing, duh, I always forget what to call this stuff. Anyways, let's clean these up, see what they look like. All right, got it apart. Uh, this, when you take this apart, try to thread that slowly at, back on and off because it is a booger to get back together. It, you've got to get that. It's mushroomed on, so the threads will be damaged. It's just a booger to get back together, just to let you know. If you take one apart, if you don't have to, don't, because they're, they're a booger to get back on. Anyways, there's my bend. So I'm gonna put it in the, the hydraulic press over there and just bend it back. I could probably do it on the vise, but I got the hydraulic press. I want to play with it. Just to show you, see if you guys can see. So I got to bring it up. If I got that in the picture. It's hard for me to see what you guys see. I'm not good at filming. I'm eyeballing it. I'm going a little past bend. It'll probably spring back. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it, it, it sprung back way more than I wanted, I think. Can you guys see that? There's a little bit there. I can go a little bit more. See how close I got it now. Man, I'm I'm almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I've got just a hair. I could I could come down a little bit more. I really don't need these pieces of wood in there, but they were here, so. I think I just went too much. I bought this press off Facebook Marketplace a couple years ago 
for like 75 bucks. Man, I am there. I'm almost. Somebody used the handle as a pry bar. That's why it's bent. Right on the money. Right on the money. I like it. It's all the way across. Okay. Let's go to the wire wheel. Okay, I got these two pieces out of the Rust-Oleum product. And it's not, it's only, it was only in there for like 35 minutes. And it really needs to be in there a little longer because this stuff's weaker, but I'm running out of time. I got to go back to work tomorrow, so... I'm going to run these over the wire wheel and see how clean they'll get. Gonna hit it on the fire wheel for a few minutes and then uh, buff it. Trying to put this back together before the battery runs out on my video camera. I want it tight enough to where it slips. I'm going to hit that with the hammer.
That's the problem you get into. <sighs> Let me put this in a vise. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to... I got it opened a little bit and I scratched it up. I, I peened it over too tight. So there's a spot where it's really hard to get in there. But it works. It's just tight in a few spots. Anyways, I'm going to leave it. It's a, it's a channel lock 420. Uh, BH, whatever that stands for. BK on this side. I actually got a O or a C right there, it looks like. Anyways, I'm going to heat shrink some tubing on here. And what I was going to do was leave 420 shown. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might just cover it up. I don't care. I'm just going to cover it all the way up. My pliers. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just cover it all the way up. How the heck with it. It's uh, just to show you champion. Champion D Armit, Delmit. I don't know, Meadville, Pennsylvania. But my pliers, my tools, my rules. I'll do it my way. I don't know, this heat shrink tubing, it's some pretty thick stuff. And it takes a lot of heat for this to shrink down pretty good. So I'll finish, do the other side, and we'll cut the ends off and see what it looks like. All right, got the heat shrink tubing on. Now I'm just going to take a little carburetor cleaner, clean the lettering off the tubing. Still hot. This tubing is, is thicker than some of the other stuff 
that I got, which I like it. It uh, gives it a real heavy duty uh, insulation. Not only that, it's uh, uh, electrical resistance, I guess you might say. I don't know what this uh, is rated at, but uh, somebody else pointed that out to me too, using heat shrink tubing. Make, makes it a little more electrical resistant, but uh, that's not what it, they're for. It's just because of cover the handles. All right, now, Tell you the truth, I'm just gonna leave the ends like that. I'm not gonna do anything on the end there. Feel good in the hand. Let's do this. I'm gonna throw a little coat of wax on this one. It's been over a week since I've worked on these. Uh, I've had so much work to do, so. Getting out the shops kind of don't get don't feel like coming out here after you've worked 10, 12 hours. You just want to sit down, eat, take a shower, and then go to bed. That's about that's about the gist of it. Oh well, just throw a little bit on this. Oh, and there's the there's the liquid oozing out of the the uh, uh, heat shrink tubing. I'll take a knife after that dries good and hard and, and cut that off. This is a Utica pair. These are, I like these. I like the ones, the older ones with the patterns on them. The ones made in the 20s. Some of the 30s. They had a real nice pattern on the handles. I should have put a pair of handles on this one, but I wanted to show the difference. I don't know how bad these were to begin with now. It's been so long since I worked on them. I have to go back and look at video. I got a new wheel, fiber wheel in. I got some other stuff. I was gonna, I'm, I guess guys have been asking links and stuff, so I'm gonna have to start putting that on my videos, show what I'm buying. I'm trying to find a nice brass wire wheel, and I'm having a hard time finding one. A good one that's not brass coated. Anyways, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A pair of Uticas. Uh, nice pair actually. Teeth are in good shape. Nothing wrong with them. Slips okay. This this pair is a little tight, but still workable. This one, same thing, a little tight, but still workable. Right at the end there, that's that's the one that's a little. I'm gonna have to work on that screw, I guess. There it goes. I got it jammed. Anyways, I'll work on that. That's that's my only thing. Getting that screw, I peened it over too much, and then I scratched it. You can see right across there, I scratched the face of it. But oh well, still good pair of pliers. I meant it's a channel lock brand, nothing super fancy. The coating on this, you can see it's 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 thick compared to. Hang on. Here's the. Uh, Come on, here's the other type of uh, heat shrink tubing. It's a thinner material, this is heavier. Actually feels good, I mean. These are pincher getters here now. That's the smaller pairs too. I, I'm, I've, I shy away from the small pair of channel locks on big pieces of bolts and nuts. They, just because when you lose grip, they, they wind up pinching you in the hand. Uh, these are about just as bad, if not worse. 
But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't got nothing, hardly any in, in these. Maybe two bucks tops. There you go. One, I'm pretty sure one was rusted pretty good. Like I said, I've got to loosen that nut right there. Uh, just a little bit more. I got it a little too tight because it won't go to the bottom hole. So, but I think this one was the bent one too. It's been, like I said, it's been over a week, so I'm pretty sure this one was bent. Not much, you know, work and effort to bring it back to a good tool. I mean, it's it's not the brand new tool out of a package, but for a dollar or less, it's it's worth the money to clean up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry if uh, video sucks, but uh, I can't remember where I was. Well, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, let me know what you, what I've done wrong. I said, try to bring good old tools back people you know junk these tools and then they pawn them or sell them or whatever I somehow or another I wind up with them and make turn them out to be good tools they, they're good they're just somebody doesn't see the potential there all right ladies and gentlemen y'all have a good day